Okay, listen. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of my background. How can I expect to go pro if I can't even have a nice background? I think that me and my friend are ready to go pro. That's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you virtual green screen options that you have today that you can use for free in OBS and you'll be good to go. So number one is actually a plugin for OBS by StreamFX. It's called Background Removal and they have it built in so you can just add it as a filter and it will remove the background. So all you have to do is search for StreamFX. You'll come to the StreamFX for OBS Studio page. All you need to do after that is go to download, scroll down, find whatever platform you're on. In this case, I'm on Windows. And you're going to want to install StreamFX for Windows. Now, I already have that set up here in OBS to be able to show you how it works. Now, I wouldn't say this is the best option. I haven't had a, a lot of success with it, but I'll show you it anyway. So now that your camera is up, go ahead to your video capture device, go to filters, right mouse click in the audio video filters section and add background removal. And there you go. Now, this is sort of a two-step process. You can actually come down and mess with some of these settings. I find that the different ones may or may not work too well. Media pipe is the only one that seems to work decent for me. If you adjust the threshold, you can see it comes in and comes out. You can filter the contour of the image. You can smooth the silhouette, but you can still see that there's a little bit of waviness around my body. And, and that's not really something I'm looking for, but it's a viable option. What you're gonna wanna do in this particular case is select a green color so you're pretty much just simulating a green screen and you can still see the, the quality of this isn't that great my arms getting cut off a lot of jigglies around me but i just think that that's my background's not optimal for this but if you keep watching there are some more options later on in the video that you'll be quite surprised about so make sure you stay till the end okay so now that we have a green screen in the background all i really have to do is go back into the filters and i'm going to add a color key. What that allows you to do is basically key out any specific color that's in the background. In this particular case, I'm choosing green. I'm going to up the similarity a little bit more, up the smoothness a little bit more. I try to get rid of that little bit of a green halo that I have around. You can adjust the contrast, keep the opacity up. So if I close this now, you'll see that I'm basically sitting here with no background. If I go ahead and grab myself, toss me down here in the corner, maybe while I'm streaming, that might not be too bad for you. One of the things you can do is add a image, select an image. Let's go ahead and select, I don't know. Let's pick, just go ahead and pick this background right here. Hit okay. What that does is it basically puts it into your scene. Now, if you want to take this, put it right where your body is, and then in the sources, drag it behind the camera. Now you've got a little bit of a colored background that you can have. So you can see how this can be versatile. You might be able to adjust it and change it and tweak it to fit your needs, but I don't think it's the best option. Let's go ahead on to the next option. Okay, so for this next option, I'm gonna go with something that actually works with my machine and it might work with yours as long as you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Now what this is, is called NVIDIA Broadcast. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap over there to show you exactly how this works. So to use this software, all you have to do is go to the NVIDIA broadcast app and download it and install it to your machine. Make sure you have an NVIDIA card to be able to do this. And once it runs, this is what the app looks like. You have control of choosing your microphone, speakers, and camera. Now I've selected my camera from this drop down list so you can see me in the preview window here. So in the effects area, you can choose the effect that you wanna do. So let's start with background blur. And there you go. So you can see within here, it's actually blurring the background that's behind me. And it does a pretty decent job. So let's check out what else they have. Background replacement. So you can see it's kind of picking up my chair behind me. It's replaced the background here. So it's not working 100%, but it is working pretty decently. Even if I move forward or backward, I, I think you could tweak this and get it a little bit better. Move my head over a little bit. You're allowed to basically choose the background that you want. So let me go to the backgrounds folder that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here. Sure, why not? In this particular case, it's cut off because that's where my camera's cut off. So it actually looks like I'm kind of sitting in front of, sitting behind this table, which is actually a rug, but you get the idea. The fact that you can use this NVIDIA broadcast software to basically remove your background. I'm a little bit disappointed that my chair gets a little bit fuzzy, but again, this is the one of the 
you know, better options, but not the best option. You do have a couple of other effects here, background removal altogether. And then you also have auto frame, which allows you to, I think, move around. Yep. So as you move around, it'll follow you. And auto focus on your face. That's pretty nice. And then some video noise removal, or you can just remove this effect. And you can actually layer these effects on top of each other. I'm just going to, in this particular case, do background removal. And then when we hop back over to OBS, what I can actually do is add a new video capture device. And from the list of video capture options, I'm able to choose NVIDIA Broadcast. And there I am with the background removed. So let's go ahead and toss me down here in the corner. So again, if I'm streaming live on Twitch or if I'm streaming on YouTube, I can have myself right here in the corner while I'm going for it. And you know what? I think this back definitely could be fixed with a little bit better lighting, but it's a pretty decent option. So the next option is, as you can see, we are in the Zoom Meetings app. Now what you can do with Zoom is also remove the background and then use this video feed as a direct feed into OBS. So let's go into the camera background settings, choose my virtual background, and I can choose to blur the background. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here. Blur the background. I can choose a different background. I can choose my own background. So I've added a couple here. You can see I'm sitting in a room let's see here here's another room here's that other room we used from before you can choose a flat color like this you can choose to have a green screen in the background and then remove that within obs but in this particular case i'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here so once you've chosen your virtual background inside of the zoom meetings you can hop back over into obs now in this particular case with zoom you're going to want to add a window capture we're going to want to have to change the capture method to Windows 10. And there we go. Hit OK. And here I am. Now you can notice that there's a little bit of a border at the bottom and top. And that's fine. We can go ahead and crop these out if we want. Move me over into the corner here. And depending on how you want your setup to be, there you go. And I think that's pretty impressive looking, to be honest. It looks like I'm kind of sitting in that room. Except for, you know, there's a little weirdness when my hands disappear. But at this point in time, it's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and do one extra thing here. And let's add a image mask blend. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that you're basically just choosing to mask out part of the image based on the color of the image. And there we go. Now I'm over here in the corner and depending on what I want my background to be, that's what it's gonna be in here. So let's go ahead and try something else. Let's go back over to the Zoom meetings. Go choose virtual background. And I'm going to add, let's see here. I'm just going to add a solid color. Let me scroll down here. Choose a solid color. Eh, I don't think that looks looks as good as before. Any other images I might want to choose? Okay, let's try this one. Here it is set up in Zoom. And here it is in OBS Studio. I can go ahead and disable this image mask blend. Bring the whole thing full screen. And I think one of the things that I do have an issue with with the zoom software is it does seem to downsample the quality i don't think that the quality of this is as good as what i have over here without the background in and you can see it's a little bit more crisp a little bit more clear with me using my iphone but again if your whole goal is to have a background get rid of what's behind you and maybe use it on part of the screen i think at that point in time it's looking great Okay, so this last option is actually kind of a fun one. It works as a green screen, but you have a couple different options that you can use in OBS depending on what you want to do. It's the snap camera. All you have to do is download the software and then open it up. And here we go. And I am a potato. Okay, so let me go ahead and click a couple of these different ones. Oh, there's me with a floral head. I'll put some... <laughs> All right, anyway, as you can see, this could get a little bit fun. Let's put some googly eyes on me for now. Hello, hello, how are you today? All right, never mind. back to the green screen. So what this allows you to do is basically scroll through their huge, huge list of different filters that you can add. And in fact, you can create your own different filters. In this particular case, I really do want to start clicking on a couple of these to see how they look, but I gotta stay on target. I gotta stay on target. Okay, let's type in green screen. 
And you can see there's a bunch of different green screen effects here. Pick the first one. Eh, not so great. And that's just my eyes and my lips. It's great, but not so great for our purposes. And here's one that looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and just use this. Again, like I said, you can go ahead and keep experimenting with this. In this particular case, I think with better lighting or a better setup, I can get a better result. So if we go ahead and jump back over to OBS, and I'm going to add this. In this particular case, it's nice because this adds as a video capture device. Just like a camera. Choose Snap Camera. Okay. It looks okay. It looks like there's a little stuff going on. Behind my ear here, I leave everything as a default. So once you have this set up, we can do what we did before, and we're going to add a chroma. What is it? Color key, and basically just remove the green from the background as much as possible. Okay, so it looks like I have a little bit of a green fuzz around me, and it might be just the resolution of my camera. Go ahead and stick me in the corner, and if I'm streaming any games or if I'm doing anything like that, that's that's going to look great. And it looks pretty crisp and pretty clear. So if I want to do a full screen, we can turn our image back on. And there I am, sitting in the room. Now you can see there's a little, still a little bit of problem with my ears, and there's still a little bit of problem with the outside around me. But I'll tell you what, both any of these options are good. One thing you can actually do in this particular case is let's <laughs> leave me. And we're going to rescale this image here a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab these two by hitting control. So let's grab the video capture device and the image, and I'm going to group them together. And what that allows me to do is basically scale it as one item. Okay. So if I want to go ahead and toss myself over here in the corner again, and then on the group, I want to go into the filters and I'm going to add an image mask blend. Choose my circle again. There we go. Now, instead of having a terrible tart behind me, I've got a pretty decent looking screen. And you know what? With more tweaking and more changing, I bet I can get this looking pretty good. Okay, so it turns out I made a little bit of a boo-boo. Uh, when I was adding the color key, I should have been adding a chroma key. And with color key, we were getting that little bit of green outline. So I wanted to jump on here and make another video just to kind of show you an example of the video without that green line using the chroma key instead. So here you go. Okay, here we are using the snap cam window with the green screen behind me. You'll still see that I have a little bit of issue with the filter here on my ear. This one's a little bit better because I have a direct light coming from this side. But I think that with a few tweaks that I could get it looking awesome. But let's go ahead and add the magical filter of chroma key. There we go. Without even any settings, you see a little tiny bit of the green around my body, but it is so much better than it was when I was recording before. Let's go ahead and add an image in the background here. And there we go. It's still not a perfect solution, but it is a solution that you can do today and it's free and it works way better than some of the other options. I did like Zoom, but the problem with that is that for some reason it seems like Zoom is really downsampling the image. I guess that's because they want to send it out over Zoom meeting and Zoom calls and they don't want it bogging down their servers. We can try a couple more images here if you're interested. So I could be talking to you like this. Blurred background looks okay for this situation. Ooh, awesome game room image. So if I wanted to have a little bit of RGB behind me, that would also work. Here's another example of a background. And again, you can take this into any image editing software and give it a blur. In fact, we can give it a blur right here if we want. Just go into filters, add blur. I like to choose Gaussian blur. And then just decide exactly how much you want. Hit close. And there we go. I think that's looking pretty nice. Here's an example of just a soft blue background. If you don't want anything extravagant in the background, I generally like to have a little bit more going on in the background so that things like this are less noticeable. Here's another living room background with a little bit of a blur on. I think this looks pretty nice also, but I usually tend to sort of fall back on this one. This is the one I'll probably end up using for a little while or I'll make my own. Remember, you can experiment and do whatever you want with the images behind you. There's tons of different options. So I think at this point in time, I'm going to shrink me down into the corner where most of the time I'll live. I'll go ahead and add the Super Pro image circle. And that's it. I guess you all might know exactly how my background's going to look from now on. But maybe I'll surprise you. But thanks for staying on for that little bit of extra clarification from this video. But I think all in all, 
we've come up with some really good options to have a virtual green screen without purchasing one. That doesn't mean I'm not going to go ahead and purchase a, a new goodie pretty soon and have an actual green screen behind me, but it's got to be the right one. So if you wouldn't mind, just comment down below if there's any other virtual green screen options you'd like me to try, or if there is a good green screen option that could fit behind me in front of this tarp. Remember, I don't have a lot of room. I'm just sort of sitting in this chair here with the tarp directly behind me. So please comment down below. I could use any help you can give me. And that's going to do it. If you stayed this long, at least like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and I'm trying to become pro. So thanks.